are being tested so that you will have a testimony that will blow people's mind and call folk that want to get saved and know the God that you serve. Somebody ought to jump up and give him a praise right now because you understand that the test is here to promote you. It is here to elevate you. Am I right about that? That's the reason Christmas is bigger than the tree. It ain't about no tree. It ain't a Christmas tree. No, how? We worship the Savior. But notice, Psalm 78, 52 said, he guided them through the wilderness. Can I tell you this morning that just because you're in a tough place, it don't stop God from being God? Just because your back is against the wall, he's still in charge. He's still sitting high and looking low. He's still the miracle worker he was yesterday because he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. Malachi said in Malachi 3 and 6 that the Lord changes not. Tell somebody, that's the reason you don't get nervous in the wilderness like other folk. Why? You recognize your God is the same in the wilderness as he is in the city. Oh, he can bless in the country, but he can also bless in the city. Am I right about it? He can bless on the pavement, but then if you step off in a field, he's able to bless you right there. He can bless you when you got two jobs, but then he can bless you when you got one. Then he'll step back and bless you when you ain't got a job. Am I right about that? He'll bless you in retirement. He'll bless you after the business Come on, somebody. Do y'all know about the power of God to bless? The wilderness is figurative of three things that are important that I want you to get. Because remember, he guided them through the wilderness. Number one, it has to do from a figurative standpoint of a place where there is a lack of something that's needed. The wilderness represents a place where there is a lack of something that is essential. Something that you need, but I don't have, Pastor, what I need. That sounds like a wilderness experience. Know exactly what need to be done, but don't quite have all the funds to, to get it done. You're lacking in that in that area and so anytime you're in a wilderness situation again there is a lack but I'm here to tell you he's able to guide you in spite of it also has to do with a place of testing or a place where one will be proved but you're not being tested to fail. You're being tested in order to be promoted. Anytime God is allowing tests to come your way, you have to know as a child of God that he is not sending the test to flunk me. He is not sending the test that I might fail. But the test is going to approve me to be able to go to the next level. That's the reason we go from faith to faith, from glory to glory. And we often have to be put to the test like it or not. And I come to tell you, when things get tough, when things get tight, one thing that is going to be tested sooner or later is your loyalty. Oh, somebody know what I'm talking about. It's easy to say you with somebody, including God, when everything going the way you desire. But you have to recognize that loyalty will be put to the test. See, when loyalty is sincere, people don't go nowhere, even though things get tough in their life. They ain't looking for an escape they ain't looking for another God they ain't looking for somebody else to worship they ain't out hunting another church they ain't out looking for another pastor they recognize that this trouble is only temporary they recognize that this too shall pass they recognize that God is taking them somewhere and that there is purpose in the test there is purpose in the trial there is purpose in the trouble don't you start shaking don't you get weak need on me don't you turn tail and run 
run. You have to believe God. You are being tested to go to that next level. You are being tested so that you can be debt free. You are being tested so that you will have a testimony that will blow people's mind and call folk that want to get saved and know the God that you serve. Somebody ought to jump up and give him a praise right now because you understand that the test is here to promote you. It is here to elevate you. You better watch yourself. You better tell somebody, watch yourself. You have to have the right mind when test time comes. Am I right? You can say a whole lot of stuff. But how many know even things we say out of our mouth going to be put to the test? Definitely you have to be careful when folk get excited and get to saying stuff. Sometimes they just talking out of, out of emotions. Pastor, I ain't going nowhere. The devil himself can't pull me away from you. Pastor, I got your back. Talking out of, out of emotions. You know, then the psalmist said, he'll go in the rain, in the sleet, and in the snow. Some of folk be singing that. No, they lie. Won't he hardly go when the sun is shining? We are laughing. But let me tell you something. Loyalty will be tested. Even when it comes to an auxiliary, loyalty will be tested when that leader does not do what you feel he or she should have done. What you going to do now? Because that's the only time some folk bag you is when you're doing everything they want you to do. But make a sharp turn. See, so it's a place of testing. But understand, finally, it has to do with a place where you will experience God's greatness. Never forget that about the wilderness. It is a place where you will experience God's greatness. Yes, there will be a lack of things. And yes, there will be tested. But at the same time, God is God enough in the midst of all that taking place. He's God enough to allow you and I to experience his greatness. What do I mean by his greatness? He will allow you to see him do what he know you can't. Do. Oh God, there are some of us. That's where we at this morning. We need God to show up and do what we can't do. We need Him to do what our money can't do. We need Him to do what our job can't do. We need Him to do what family can't do. Is anybody there right now? You got a dream. You you you, you, you got something that you desire to see come to pass, but you need a miracle. And ain't nothing wrong with needing a miracle because you serve the miracle worker. Are y'all listening? But in our day and time, even in the church, you have people who have a mindset that says God has changed. He does not do what he used to do. The devil is a liar. God has never changed. But you have to have an expectation for miracles. You have to expect God to be God. When you can't do it, you have to expect God to be God. When the doctor give up, you have to expect God to be God. When you get the foreclosure letter, you have to expect God to be God. When they talk about taking the car, you have to expect God to be. Expect God to be. Because sometimes in the wilderness, we mess around and lose our expectation and we will settle for how it looks like it's going to turn out some of you there this morning you already forecasting that well it ain't going to work how I would believe but, but, but if I can just get a little bit what, what, what made you drop from abundance to, to a little bit? Who, who, who told you to believe for a little bit? You serve a big God why not believe for big why not expect big things from a big God? But isn't it amazing how circumstances will cause you to drop your expectations? I know I'm preaching right. When doubt enters into that heart, you're believing for one thing. But when doubt enters in, you'll settle for something else. He said, you better go out there and remind them that I'm still God. Up in that wilderness, 
I have not changed. I have not retired. I have not gotten fired. I have not been in peace. Sir. Ain't you glad that we serve a God that cannot be in peace? We serve a God that cannot be moved. We serve a God that your enemies can't fire him. See, some of your enemies mad that God got your back because they know if he wants to ever just leave, they could do what they want to do. But he's God. He's faithful. He is the one that said, I will never leave thee, nor will I ever forsake you. And tell you, neighbor, that go for the wilderness. 